Hello everyone, good to see you all. It's time to answer all your burning questions about me. So let's not waste any time. First question from Mastan5411. What inspires you to create videos? I think I create videos to express myself in a very fun way. Well, also like trying to improve myself as a writer. You know, I point out a lot of these flaws in these stories I review. So I should try to avoid making these same mistakes that these stories made. And also I do enjoy talking to people in the comments section. Sometimes in the comments there are just people who just want to rile me up and be bad faith and not actually address my points. But most of the time, a lot of people are very warm, polite, you know, address my points with their points. You know, they agree with my points, they disagree with my points with very solid arguments. And even if they say points that I disagree with, they usually back up their points in one way or another with either their standards. So I appreciate a good faith and fun argument in the comments. From Princess Tolk, do you play Roblox? Uh, no, it's just not for me. If you like the game, that's good. But personally, it just doesn't appeal to me. Tickets footy, YouTube goals. I want to hit a million subscribers. I know that's a bit of a far goal, especially with my content, but I think I got it. I also want to do proper skits. The YouTube shorts are fine for what they are, but you know, I want to actually create something for my own heart and soul and just be proud of myself and also improve my acting abilities. Since one day I do want to like work in the professional VA world and doing proper skits would help me get to that goal faster than just doing shorts. Since for proper skits, you know, I would actually need to use my acting abilities more greatly than just for very bare minimum content, which the shorts are. From Mean King D third, favorite games. I got a couple: Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Ultimate, Gravity Rush One and Two, Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, the first three Halo games, as you see on the screen. <laughs> and LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. All those games have made a great impact in my life, and I could talk about how much I love those games for hours and hours on end. These games have really shaped my view about how this medium can really be something incredible in one way or another, and I wouldn't mind talking about those games one day. Anime you want to watch in the future. I really want to watch that new Gundam show. I watched the first few episodes. It was pretty fun. However, I've been very busy these past few months, so I haven't had a chance to watch more episodes. I do want to watch it. I also want to watch a bunch of old classic anime. Like right now I'm watching Initial D with my little brother. I also do want to watch the original Dragon Ball. I admit I'm a bit of a fake fan and watch Dragon Ball Z Kai and Super and the movies. So I need to make up for that stuff. I also want to watch Love is War. I seen a few clips of that show and it's hilarious. So I guess that's on my anime watch list for the time being. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to catch up on them. Any anime you'll never watch. Boku no Pico. If you know, you know. Favorite kind of music. I like classic rock and roll. Bon Jovi, U2, Aerosmith, Kiss. I will say it, I think Frank Sinatra is my favorite singer of all time. He's the GOAT, what else can I say? From Lexi Mexi, will you cover Hikorashi in the future? Sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm sorry to say I won't cover it in the future. I don't know much about the series, and it just doesn't look very appealing to me. So sorry about that, but I do appreciate the kind message in the bottom. Thank you very much. From Braddy P1643, when will you cover Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul? You have used too many clips of those shows not to. Well, interesting thing about that, I originally had my next video after this Q&A be a breakdown of Lady Nagant and comparing her to Mike from Breaking Bad, explaining why her character doesn't work and Mike's character does work. It's not going to happen. Upon my review of her material in the Vigilante Deku arc, it doesn't really warrant a video of that size. Maybe one day I'll review the Vigilante Deku arc and talk about her stuff in that video. But for now, Nagant's not on the table. But yes, I do want to make videos about Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul one day. Those are my two favorite shows of all time, and I would love to pick apart why I love this universe so much. Are you going to cover any video games? If so, which ones are you thinking about? Well, the thing is that it's much harder to review a video game than it is, say, a movie or TV show. Because the video game is way longer than like the material in a TV show or a movie. So if I wanted to review a game, it would likely be way down the line once I had enough time and resources to commit 
the effort into making that video. But I do have a few games I do want to talk about. As I mentioned before, I do want to make videos about Gravity Rush and Halo, since I really love those series. But I do want to talk about Insomniac Spider-Man, since I think that version of the character gets way too much credit than he really deserves. Like, I don't think he's terrible, but I think he's very overrated in many ways. I don't consider those games to be terrible from a gameplay or story perspective. I just think people really overhype them. And I think there are flaws with those games and how their stories play out. Which anime slash TV shows that are coming out are you most excited for? I'm looking forward to like the new Miyazaki movie. It's called like The Boy and Heroine in English. I think that's what it's called. But I prefer its original name, How Do You Live? No, it just sounds a lot better. Aside from that, I do want to watch Shizume again. Like I saw it in theaters. I loved it. I'm really, really excited for when it finally comes out on Blu-ray. Maybe I'll make a video on it. Who knows? What got you into making YouTube videos? And could you give some advice to anyone wanting to start making their own? I won't lie. The reason why I decided to make YouTube videos was kind of a career change. My old career didn't pan out thanks to the pandemic. And instead of just going back to school, I just decided to just take a gamble on the stream of mine. I had nothing left to lose. The past few years have not been nice to me. And I decided, you know what? Let me take a chance on me. Let me see if I can get to where I want to be by following my own guts and my own dreams. It's starting to pay off. I'm starting to make money off YouTube now. And with the current growth rate of my channel, I think I could make a part-time living off this channel soon enough. I'm also going to set up a Patreon soon. So keep an eye out for that if you want to support me more and get me out of my grocery job. It would be very nice. As for advice, the only advice I can give is always try to improve and never give up. YouTube is not very easy. A lot of people quit before they even hit a thousand subs. Some people even quit even after hitting a thousand subs and when it gets a lot easier. You should know that you have to always try to improve your channel in some way. Like my older videos had a lot of bad qualities to them. They were very badly edited and had terrible audio. Now I sharpened up my editing skills and I got myself a booth. So the audio sounds crisp now. I wouldn't have gotten to this point if I just stopped and gave up or not improve myself. Stagnation can be the death of any dream. You just have to keep pushing forward and keep on improving yourself. And don't be afraid of failing. Like everyone is afraid of failure. I'm no different from that. But failure is the greatest teacher. So if you have a lot of failures at the start, don't think that means you have no talent, no potential, no nothing. It just means you just have a lot to improve on. If you're willing to improve yourself, if you're willing to perfect your craft, if you're willing to change and learn to improve your content and how you make it, then I think anyone can be successful on YouTube. But that's just my two cents about it. Every YouTuber has a different path. You will only know if you try. And that's about it. That's all the questions we have for today. I'd like to thank everyone for responding to my video and leaving me these questions. I'm honored that you guys want to know a little bit about me. And I want to thank you all for subscribing and giving my channel a chance. This channel has become a real source of pride for me. After my last career failed, this channel really has shown that, you know what, I'm not a loser. That I can still be great even if I fail along the way. So thank you again for giving me your time and watching these videos. It really means a lot. Before I go, I might as well update you guys on the next videos. I mentioned this in the last video, but I will do another 1000 sub special. Granted, it might be out when we hit 2000 subs, but hey, I guess it still works. After that, I got a nice juicy review coming. Stay tuned as I review Chainsaw Man Season 1. Oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a good day.